Kayla. I'm Kelly. And this is our This adventure. is our adventures. All right, so I'm having to redo the end of the Starlink video because it's been like so busy this past week with my work. I'm a real estate agent and I didn't check the video before I uploaded. And for whatever reason, the last five minutes is not on there. Well, I can't go back and just do the last five minutes back up drive because because the drive that I put all my video footage on crashed yesterday. So I don't have any of the footage. I do have where I recorded the end because I recorded that on my phone, but everything that I had recorded on my GoPro that was on that drive is gone plus four videos of the next four videos coming up that I was supposed to edit this weekend because it was a holiday weekend and I figured I would have time to at least edit a video or so. So all that footage is gone. And some of that footage, the videos that I had coming up, I can't go back and record because it was like a one-time deal. One was a shoe rack that I made for the camper and the other was we were reviewing some different Hello Fresh and all that. So I can't go back and get that footage. And then Maddie was born yesterday, which is amazing, but we can't get to see her because of the hospital, we can't go until tomorrow. <sighs> the last couple of days has just been crazy. So now I'm putting this vid little video together so that you know what's going on. So I can give you the end of the Starlink video that actually was the part that you needed to know what our thoughts were. All right, so sorry. And uh, I'm gonna have to see about trying to figure out a video for this coming up week because it's all lost. Unless I do have a guy that's gonna take the drive and try to see if he can recover anything off of it. I'll keep you posted on that. And normally I know my videos are super happy, but I'm super sad right now. And I'm trying to do this without crying because I'm just, I feel like the last couple of days, I've just been beat down with YouTube. <laughs> and for whatever reason, last night on YouTube, it like took like 30 of our subscribers away. Like it shows like there's a couple of days that we got no subscribers, but I uploaded a video and we always get at least one or two subscribers. And I swear that it had subscribers on those days before, but they're gone. So I don't know what's going on, but I'm gonna get past this. I'm gonna get happy, especially because we get to see Maddie tomorrow, but I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, here's the end of the Starlink video. Ugh. This actually might be something you may have to do to make your Starlink work proper. Uh -huh. Woo, loud. I hope you can hear me. All right, so I wanted to finish up this Starlink video to give you an update. Um, we have had it for about two or three weeks now. I'm having to say we are in love with it. It does go down here and there, but it is still in beta, so we've got to remember that. We're averaging around 160 to 200 download and around 20 to 30 upload. So it is blowing our AT&T away. We were lucky to get an eight download and a 0.5 upload. So it's like, and it averages, I would say, probably maybe like 11 minutes because it's got an app and the app shows you like how long there has not been no satellites or how long there's an other problem showing where it's down. So it is a great app. When we were having blockages issues until Bill cut the tree down, when we were having blockage issues, you could swap the app over and it would show you what direction 
it was losing signal. So you knew what trees were in the way for sure. Because the app, I mean, like, you're going to need a lot of sky to get this to work. Uh, you know, that's the only negative that I really can say at all about it. The only negative thing that I have to say about it is it needs a lot of sky. So if you've got a lot of trees, you're going to be really, really in trouble. But the speeds, oh my gosh, we are in love with it. We have still got our AT&T. We're gonna keep it probably for another few months. We wanted to get out of beta before we completely throw away AT&T. Like I said, it, it's still, it's just because they've gotta get more satellites up there and everything. But anyway, I've been watching all kinds of stuff online and we've not ever been able to really totally do that. I've been uploading videos and we haven't never been able to do that from the house. I mean, well, like we have, but it would take like, you know, 10, 12 hours. Now it takes like 10 minutes. So that's exciting about it. I guess the only other thing that I can say, Facebook, Instagram, those kind of applications like on your phone, they run on it a little slower. Um, it's because they have to ping back and forth. And like when you're watching a movie or something, it's just downloading. That's the only place that I say that it's kind of lacking. But it's still I know it no means like horrible. I just figured that part would be faster, but it may get faster once we get out of beta. I did want to finish up this video and kind of give you our thoughts right now. We will do another video once it gets out of beta and give you an update on how things are going. But as of right now, we absolutely love, love the Starlink. That's the best money we have ever spent by far. So, if you're thinking about getting the Starlink, and you don't have really good internet and you don't have a whole lot of trees it's worth it i i would say do it i would do it again and again and again it is a little pricey as you have to pay 500 dollars for the it's right around 500 it's a little less but not much for the equipment and then it's a hundred dollars a month i've been loving it and I, like i said probably six or seven minutes a day um where it's no satellites or an other issue. I don't know what other would be. Especially after Bill cut that tree down because we were having like blockage issues. But since he's cut that tree down, we haven't had any problems at all other than just the no satellite. And it's kind of cool because you can click on the app when like the internet goes out, it'll go down for a second. And when it goes down, it don't like go down for like hours. It's usually like a minute, 30 seconds. Because uh, you can pull up the app when it's gone down and it'll say connect a new satellite in and it'll have like a little countdown and it'll tell you how long it is before the next satellite comes up if it's lost the satellite. It was so easy to set up. I'm talking like that, that was, when I say plug and play, literally a plug and play. It was, I mean, there is no setup required. You just plug the stuff in that it tells you, connect it to the app, do what the app says, and it works great. Well, I just wanted to finish up this Starlink video and let you know how it's been going over the last few weeks, how we've enjoyed it. Welcome to all our new subscribers. Y'all have been rocking it. If you're not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up. Till next time, like and subscribe.